first learned about this seven years ago. On a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. Simon, how are you doing today? I'm very well, very well. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the movie. I had an absolute blast watching it. It was so, so much fun. Uh, I can't wait for people to get back to the cinema or just even watch it wherever they can and enjoy it as much as they can. Um, it, I, I do feel like you've successfully done something that so many other directors haven't and you've cracked the code of a good movie based on a video game because, uh, you know, a true, 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 through previous examples, uh, it's it's been tough. Uh, what is it do you think about this particular adaptation, or any advice you'd give future video game directors for cracking that code? Well, I just think respect the material and know what, know where the potency is, and know what's loved, and know what you don't. It's not about changing, it, but it's about elevating. So, and then it's knowing what to to bring across and and the thing to not bring across is the the construct or the 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 engine within a video game but but you bring the content and you respect that and then you apply it in a in a and use filmmaking techniques to make a story and new story structure and and so forth so it really yeah it was just about making sure that the 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 material was really respected as much as possible and everyone really got that everyone was in lockstep on that so there was a it, it made it made it very i wouldn't say it was easy but it was kind of there was no challenges the studio really wanted to do it that way and um so i'm glad you feel that that's great because it's you know honestly it's just we've all had these theories and you do it based on okay this is what i believe and you have and you put it into practice and you make it. But it's nice to hear people like yourselves who are who know this stuff really well and sort of feel that as well. So um, that was the, that was the certainly the intent and the strategy and the approach. Well, you, you pulled it off successfully. Uh, I guess one of the things that, as you said, they're bringing across from from the the original content were the fatalities, which were so much so much fun, and you've got gosh like decades of them through the game um was there a point in the production of this where you were literally looking through the fatalities of the game going which ones can we bring across <laughs> for the movie yeah. yeah well greg russo the the writer he'd, he'd written quite a few of them in already um and then and I, it's a bit fuzzy with my memory but but the 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 kung lao um one with the hat I really wanted to make sure, and I think I think Greg had this one in there, but it was just about how we we both really loved this i the, the idea of the hat being you know the the it just is almost born out of Kung Lao's hat and Kung Lao's character and the inventiveness of what they do in the game with that hat. Really, you know, we really loved that. So we wanted to make sure that that the hat itself got got a bit of love and. Um, and got treated with a with the respect and 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 I it sort of came out of that. But yeah, we looked at a lot to to make sure we were doing them justice and making sure we were doing the right ones and and really just getting the balance of the set together and making sure you know we couldn't have too too many. It would have it would have pushed it over the limit. Um, so it's just finding that balance, really. Um, and I didn't want them all to feel, I didn't want them all to be just the same, same, same type of thing, you know, in getting get some variation um, stylistically. So, um, yeah, that was kind of the approach. But, but Greg was all over that. And just one uh, final question. Um, it does tee itself up very nicely for a sequel. Uh, I don't want, I will not get into any spoiler territory, so don't worry about that. But just in terms of what it is kind of teeing up, was that always the case or was that just kind of, let's see what's left over for, let's see who we haven't used in the first movie and then know that's the direction we're going to go for the, potentially for the second one. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the character of Johnny Cage is a, um, 
he's a he's a very tricky proposition because he's such a big you know he has his own gravitational field around him he's so big so so we we obviously knew he was a very important ingredient but but a very very tricky one and we just wanted to to get the ensemble and get the law and the tone and the feel and the canon right without him bending it out of shape and that's really why he's not in the first one but we also knew how important he was i mean there's other there's other characters who are really important too like katana is really important and jade's really important and you know we need more female characters in the next movie if we if we do end up doing another movie you know i don't want to i don't want to be talking about sequels before when, when you know we, we we don't like to talk use the s word when we're sure. making the movie because it's just we want to make sure we get this right and then then we'll worry about that but um you know it's just as johnny cage is important so are the the, the kick-ass female characters are really important so you know I get I get asked about Katana just as much as I get asked about Johnny Cage. So, um, you know, I think it's just if we do go to to make something else, then then um, it's a balancing act of who else is in, it and there's a lot to choose from. Yeah, it's it's, it's fair to say Katana does have her fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for your time today, Simon. Yeah, mate. Really nice chatting. The target has superhuman abilities. It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament 